All right, guys, I'm here at the trap, and I'm gonna go ahead and see if we got anything. I just woke up, and I'm really tired, so I... Sorry about that. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna have to set the camera down for a second. Uh, nothing in the first one, as you can see. I don't want to break the string off the second one trying to get it out. And I have to just dig in there the old fashioned way. Ah, crap, it broke. I don't even see it. Oh boy, that really got down in there. Oh, there it is. No? No, nope, guess not. Jeez. More really took this one a far away. This is why I want a string on it, so that you can tell where your trap went. There's something. There it is. That's it. Ah, we got him. Nice. That's a big one. Oh my god, he is big. Look at him. Holy crap. He's about, uh, I don't know, I'd say six inches long. He's bigger than the entire trap. And, oh, wow, he is big. Okay, so that's proof right there that the trap line mold trap uh, really works. I highly suggest these. I'm going to reset them just in case there's more, but uh, that's $10. Okay, guys, I'm out here on the back patio, and, uh, just wanted to show you how to get the mole out of the trap once you've got him. Uh, it's really simple. It's basically the opposite of setting the trap. So, I don't want to pick it up. Heavy. So, uh, I don't know if you heard that or not, but a big clump of uh, mud just fell off. So that's good. I didn't have to reach in there and do it. So, you're trigger that you had to wind right there it's hard to recognize and it's all covered in mud but you just want to take it off its little holder and then unwind it so that the jaws reopen like this the jaws are open and you can just shake them off as you can see he's right there fell over uh, I am wearing gloves so that I don't get all nasty and diseases and stuff or whatever so uh that's it. If you have a mole problem, buy some trapline mole traps. They work every time.